Hello, I'm Susan Woods. Is attorney Ben Crump a vulture? I asked that question because since the acquittal of George Zimmerman in 2013 in the Trayvon Martin murder trial, Ben Crump has been a constant fixture whenever there are instances where Black people are killed by white police officers or by white people in some type of authoritative position. So I'm beginning to wonder if he is exhibiting the behavior of a vulture. This is a vulture. A vulture is a bird of prey that scavenges on carrion. Carrion is dead flesh, flesh of a dead animal or flesh of a dead person. These birds will fly around, a circle around something that's dead, a carcass, and then they will hone in on it and just pick off of it and eat it until it no longer exists. I have seen a vulture, and we call them buzzards where I live. I've seen them pick apart something as small as a squirrel because they have highly sensitive abilities to smell dead carcasses from the sky. So I'm making the analogy because it seems that every time there is a murder of a black person by a white police officer or someone in authority, Ben Crump shows up like a vulture. It's as if he's circling around and waiting on an opportunity. What made me disgusted is when I saw him in the room with the parents of Dante Wright. They were doing a press conference or an interview and Ben Crump was sitting behind them. Now their son was just killed on Sunday. This is Dante Wright. He was killed on Sunday, April 11th in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. On yesterday, yesterday, I saw Ben Crump sitting behind the parents when they were being interviewed. I don't know when the interview took place. I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, but he was already there. So I'm thinking, okay, time out. This is enough. This is crazy. The mother, Dante's mother, right here, Katie Wright and his father, Arby Wright. And if you look on the far right corner, that is Ben Crump that's cropped out of the picture. But that's Ben Crump, the person on the far right corner is him. They are clearly distraught, shocked, hurt. Can I have a moment of peace? Can I have a moment of let me soak this in before Ben Crump shows up? I don't know about you, but I have had the misfortune of experiencing people dying in my family. I had a very close cousin who was hit by a car and killed. He was my cousin, but I loved him like a brother. I cannot imagine someone stalking me or my family to want to represent us to get money because that's all it's about. It's about the money. Ben Crump is a civil lawyer. His sole purpose is to get gigantic settlements, to galvanize publicity, to shame the officials or the powers that be, to give humongous settlements for which he gets 30% or one third, 
one third of whatever the settlement is. I couldn't imagine him just popping up as soon as my son is killed. Not even 72 hours later, here he is. I cannot imagine how that must feel. The poor mother here is shown trying to give a press conference and I wish she would have declined it. But who do you see standing beside her? Ben Crump. I don't know whether or not they asked him to come. I don't know how that works. But later on, I'm going to share with you one mother's disgust with him because she feels like he is exploiting her son's death for his financial gain, sort of like an ambulance chaser. I'll tell you about her in just a few moments. But here is Dante Wright's mother trying to recall the events that happened when her son was murdered by a white police officer who's since re resigned from the force. The police officer claimed that she mistook her taser for a gun. I'm sorry, she mistook the gun for a taser and she used the gun to shoot him versus using a taser to subdue him. And it was a mistake, but everybody knows that it's impossible, especially for a pol police officer who's been on the force for 26 years and was a trainer of other police officers. How can you make such a grave mistake? But that's beside the point. I'm getting back on Ben Crump now. Here he is with this grieving mother getting this camera time. He's been on several highly popular platforms already talking about how wrong it was for the police officer to kill this young man. And I agree with that point. But my point is, why are you there now? You're not going to prosecute the case. You're not a prosecutor. So why are you there? In my opinion, he's there to get all of the publicity up so that the city will be forced to give this family a huge financial settlement. And I'm not saying that a person shouldn't get some type of settlement for the loss of their loved ones, but is that the primary focus or do you want justice served? Here are some examples of cases that Ben Crump has handled. He received a civil award or a settlement for Trayvon Martin's um, family, but it was undisclosed. So we don't know how much they got from Trayvon Martin's um, settlement. The Michael Brown's family got 1.6 million. Breonna Taylor's family got 12 million. George Floyd's family got 27 million. Ahmaud Arbery's family's case is still pending as well as Jacob Blake is pending. But these are just a few of the clients that Ben Crump has served or is currently serving, his law firm. So when you do the math and you add up all of the settlements, 1.6, 12, and 27, and you determine 30% of that, he, is, he has a very lucrative practice on the backs of Black people being murdered. That's what bothers me. It's like he has made a cottage business out of the blood of Black people. I never see him with such fervor and anguish when it's Black on Black crime. I never see him standing with the mother of a son who was murdered by another black person. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I never see him fight for justice in those cases. And of course me being a black woman, when I say that, black people get so irate with me, some black people get so irate with me 
when I said, what about black on black crime? It seems like the only crime, or the only murder that's valid is a murder committed by a white person against a black person. And if you dig deep, let's dig deep on that point. When we put so much emphasis and anger when a white person kills a black person and we just go on with life when a black person kills a black person, that gives more significance to the white person killing the black person than the black person killing the black person. In other words, it seems to be more important to us when a white person kills one of us than when a black person kills one of us. Why is that? You are giving the superiority to white people when you feel that way. You have black on black crime every day. And I have yet to see anybody protesting in front of the home of a murder suspect. A black man that killed a black man. I don't see anybody screaming their names. I don't see anybody rioting and trashing the neighborhood in which the murderer lives. All you see is rest in peace. All you see is stop the killing. All you see is this must end. But you don't see the anger. It's as if, oh, well, we're not going to say anything. We're not going to be angry because a black man killed a black man. Things happen. We don't know what it was about. But let a white cop kill a black person. All hell breaks loose. Why? We should be angry either way. In my opinion, more angry that we're killing each other. But let's get back to being crumped. Here is his um, homepage of his website. And he does more than just chase um, situations like what I described. He has several areas of service, of practice areas rather. And again, he is a civil attorney. So he seeks financial damages, financial settlements. That's what he does. And this is what they brag about. I'm not upset about that. That's his business. That's what he does. I'm upset about him just seemingly showing up like a vulture whenever someone is killed. That's my issue with him. That's my problem with him. Here is Tamir Rice's mom, Samira Rice. This is the mother I referenced earlier when I said I was going to show you someone who is not happy with Ben Crump or with Black Lives Matter or with Patrice Coolers, who is the founder of Black Lives Matter and others. She names them and she tells them to stop profiting off her son's death. Samira Rice tells prominent figures to step down and stand back. I'm going to pause sharing for just one moment because I want you to see this article where I pulled this, um, this image so that you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to pull up the article of Tamir Rice's mom so that you can see what I'm talking about. Because, you know, if you follow me, you know that I believe in showing evidence of what I, what I talk about in my videos. So this is just an image of, I mean, the Essence article regarding Tamir Rice, Rice's mother, Samara Rice. Let me see if I can scroll down here. And I'm just going to read just a little bit of it. It was posted by Ashley Banks on March the 19th, 2021. Samaria Rice and Lisa Simpson, another mother, mothers of Tamir Rice and Richard Risher, respectively, are slamming civil rights activists, attorneys, and organizations for allegedly exploiting the deaths of their sons. They asked Tamika D. Mallory, now, she is from the Black Lives Matter Los Angeles division that raised millions of dollars. Sean King, Benjamin Crump, Lee Merritt, Patrice Cullors, and we know she is the one of the 
three founders of Black Lives Matter, Melina Abdullah and the Black Lives Matter Global Network to step down and stop monopolizing and capitalizing on their fight for justice and human rights. We never hired them to be the representative in the, in the I'm sorry, let me read that again. We never hired them to be the representatives in the fight for justice for our dead loved ones murdered by the police, both mothers said in a joint statement. The activists have events in our cities and have not given us anything substantial for using our loved ones' images and names on their flyers, Rice added. In the case of Tamir Rice, it was even questionable as to whether Ben Crump knew the laws in the depth, in depth, in the state of Ohio. I fired him six to eight months ago, six to eight months, rather, into Tamir's case. So she's saying she fired Ben Crump six to eight months into her son's case because she wasn't sure that he even knew the laws in depth in the state of Ohio. I'm not going to read the entire article, but that just lets you know that everyone is not happy with Ben Crump seemingly taking advantage of their pain for financial gain. So now I'm going to pause the screen and go back and, and finish up this presentation. Thank you for your patience with the pausing. I'm just going back through the slides that I've already mentioned. So now here we are with Tamir Rice's mom. That I just mentioned. And she is just one of a few people who have spoken out publicly against Black Lives Matter and against being Crump. So I will close with this question that I started with. Is attorney being Crump a vulture? Is his primary goal to capitalize financially on the pain and heartache of people who have lost a loved one? When you lose a loved one, it takes so much out of you. I cannot imagine having someone just hovering over me with the primary purpose of trying to get a civil lawsuit filed so that they can get money. I think it cheapens the value of the person who died when all it seems you want is money. And that's probably not the perception that the parents want to give. But when you have Ben Crump speaking on your behalf, that's the perception that's given because that seems to be all he's interested in. So I'm gonna let you answer that question for yourself. But as far as I com I'm concerned, the answer is yes. Thank you and have a good day.